Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a fully automatic sheep farm. Now what's cool about this, you can really design this in survival mode and is resource friendly. Now for this tutorial, I actually made every single color and let's get down to it. I'm going to show you how to do this in survival mode, it's real simple. Now all you have to do is go to each sheep and just share it. That's all you have to do, just share your sheep. You don't even have to go to it. You don't have to pick up anything. Just share it and go on to the second floor. Perfect. That's amazing. That's all you have to do. Now, once you've done that, I want you to go straight down to the first floor again. And just press that button. Awesome. Now, once you press that button, what's happening is... The pistons are actually pushing all the wool forward, but keeping the sheep back in place. Now that light right there is indicating that all the items are getting transported into that chest. Look, that's awesome. I don't have to pick up anything. It's super compact and 100% efficient. That's cool. I love it. Now, let's get down to it. This is the basic redstone behind it. They're very simple. The design is extremely compact. It's only about three blocks long. And you can literally expand this from one end all the way down to the end of the map. And you can literally repeat the same process as many floors as you want, which is also great. Amazing. Now the cool thing is, this also works on the PlayStation and the Xbox, including the PC as well. So let's get down to the basic materials we're going to use for this build. It's pretty simple. You will be needing a block of your choice, some stairs, half slabs. You will need a lot of dirt blocks. We'll make sure it's grass. Ice, glass, rest on dust, rest on torch. A repeater, a comparator, hoppers, one dropper. You could use resto lamps, but that's really optional. Some chests, a button, some ladders, a bunch of torches, and a few buckets of water. Now, once you have the location where you want to build this at, we're going to start from the back, place one block of dirt, and leave a space, and then, of course, repeat that as many times as you want. Now, each block is going to represent how many sheep you want. So you've done that, place a block right there and extend that from one end all the way down to the opposite. And one more time outwards. See? You have this kind of layout. Now at this point you're going to get your block of choice and you're going to fill in the gaps in, in the back part. So place a block there, there, and just of course repeat that all the way down to the end. Now, right on top of that first dirt block we just placed, you're going to place a piston right on top of it. And on the sides of it, you're going to place a glass block. See? And right behind it, on the block of choice, place a torch right on top of it, right between each piston. Perfect. Now, place a block on top of every single piston and glass, just like so. Now, right in front of it, you're going to dig a hole one block deep and replace that with ice. From one end, of course, you're going to stretch that all the way down to the end. Now, place a block right in front of it, because that's going to be the ground floor. And right behind it, just cover that up. Now, this is very important. Make sure to put a half slab right between each block, okay? Because if you put a regular block, for some reason, the mechanics of the rest don't cause the piston to extend, but then it gets stuck that way. So make sure it's a half slab. Now, in this location, I need to dig about two blocks there. Well, three straight across and then three on the side twice. Okay, you should have this kind of format. Then right here, place one dropper. Then one hopper going towards that dropper. And then a the hopper going towards that hopper. 
Perfect. Get your block of choice. Going to cover this up a little bit and extend it to the right. Perfect. Now get your comparator. You're going to face it going outwards. Then on the side of it, place a repeater. Perfect. And in front of that comparator, place a block and a block in front of the repeater. Then you can place some rest on dust behind it and right in front of it. Then place a large chest on top where the dropper's at. Then a rest on lamp in front of it to give you the light indication. Perfect. So we got the major part done. Now you're going to place a block there so the water doesn't interfere. And then at this point, just cover the entire section up because that's going to be the ground level. Awesome. Now you're going to place one block of water over here and make sure to put a half slab in front of the glass, not the side where there's no glass. Okay. And then, of course, extend that with another block of water because items would travel right underneath half slabs. Then in front of each glass block, you're going to place a block just like so, and then repeat that right on top. Perfect. Then you're going to place some upside down stairs right on top, just like so. Oh, it's coming out good. Now, I want to show you in survival mode how do you get the sheep inside each section. We're going to get to that in a bit. Now, you're going to place some blocks there, a lamp right on top, right there. Then you're going to place a half slab behind it, a half slab right on top. Delete that. Then place a repeater right there. Just like so, not on top of the block, but on the half slab, and extend some redstone dust from one end all the way down to the other. Just make sure you never put a repeater on top of the main block, just on half slabs. Then you're gonna place some redstone dust on top of that half slab and that one as well. Then we're gonna cover this up as just give that nice little trimming. And you can delete this because we really don't need that. Now place a button right in front of that. Rest on lamp because that's going to activate the pistons to retract. You see? Look at that. Perfect. Now, to get the sheep inside of the actual mechanism, all you need is some wheat. Now, wheat, they're going to get attracted to it and they're going to follow you everywhere. Now, place some ladders on the side so that you could go right on top. Okay, but we're going to get to that in a bit. You're going to delete that. You're going to go all the way to the end or wherever you want to put it, delete that. Then you're going to go upstairs. Perfect. And the sheep will still follow you. Now all you have to do is just leave the sheep right inside. And it's going to follow you right inside the section. You're going to switch that off so it doesn't keep following you. Perfect. Jump right down. And all you have to do is hit the sheep one time and then place the stairs right back. And there you have it, guys. Just repeat that to each section. And you can delete those stairs. You don't need that once you're done. Awesome. Now, at this point, we're going to start on the second floor. I want you to place some glass blocks right on top of that stairs and extend it all the way to the end, to that stairs. See, it's right parallel to the sheep. You're going to delete those two blocks. Then you're going to place some stairs right in front of the ice. See? Right on the side and extend it all the way down to the end. Awesome. Now you're going to place some blocks right there and you're going to place one block on top and a grass in front of it and delete the block we just placed. Then you're going to place one block on the side and then you're going to extend that all the way down to the end. And one more time outwards to the right. Then you're going to place a block behind it as well. And of course, you're going to repeat the same exact pattern. Perfect. Now get your block of choice. You're going to place it right between each section. You should have this kind of format. And you're going to cover the same spots in between with a block, with a side block. And right on top of it, place some torches perfectly. Fantastic. Now, I want you to place some glass right in front of the torches. And place a regular piston right between in the back part. 
Now place a block there and extend that all the way down to the head and we're going to basically wrap it around. Go place three blocks right there and extend that upwards. Perfect guys, it's really coming together. Now make sure to place a half slab right in front and stretch that right across. Perfect, gonna cover that up as well. Extend that upwards. And just kinda cover up the rest of the trimmings and put some stairs right underneath to create the same exact pattern. Now keep in mind guys, you can really design this anyway, but I'm gonna just show you this to give you guys at least an idea how to do it. Now we're gonna delete this on the side. I realize that's where we're gonna put our ladders at. So just extend that one more time outwards and let's kinda create this nice little framework. All right, now we're gonna start working on the second floor. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Now the half slab for the first floor is right over here. So what I like to do is kind of repeat the same thing on top and place a half slab right there. Make sure it's always in front of the glass, okay? Not in that empty space. I'm gonna place some water on the opposite direction. I'm gonna place a half slab there because you don't need you want to cover that up. And a glass or a um, bucket of water in that location as well. Now I'm gonna place some blocks right in front of the glass. Perfect. And blocks on top. And make sure to put blocks on top of the glass and the pistons as well. Perfect. Now at this point, I know you guys are starting to notice a pattern. Now we're going to cover this up because we have to make the nice little wall. Make this, you know, look pretty. Of course, it has to look on point. Now, to extend the redstone signal on top, we're going to get into that. We're going to play two half slabs and, of course, place a half slab between each block. Amazing. You could you could notice it's an exact pattern from the bottom floor. Now, you're going to place a half slab going back and forth. Place one there. To make it easy, place a block on top and a half slab in front. And on top of that half slab, place a block. You see and a half slab in front of that, and then you can delete the block we just placed. So it just makes it easier to really set that up. Now let's get some redstone dust in our repeaters, and we're going to put the repeater, well, redstone dust on top of each half slab, and a repeater in front of that half slab. See? Then, of course, we're going to place some redstone dust and extend that all the way down to the end. And like I said before, make sure you do not place a repeater on top of the main block just the half slabs perfect now i'm going to show you how do you get the sheep to the second floor now i made this nice little dirt stairs because dirt is pretty easy to get and we got to get the sheep on the second floor right now you will need some wheat because they're going to follow you and all you have to do is just go jump right up now the sheep will follow you perfect now let's put some ladders right here on the side so we can get up um and once the sheep sees you again, hold on, let me try to get his attention. Perfect. Now we got his attention. Oh, not yet. All right, now we got it. Just go up the ladder, and it was going to follow you right inside, just the same way we did on the first floor. Now switch it up, hit him a little bit to go inside, and place your upside down stairs, just like so. And once you're done, you can just delete, this, delete those ladders, and there you have it, guys. Now, of course, we're going to cover this hole up with um, upside down stairs. Perfect. It's coming out great. And we're going to place some ladders here on the side just to get to the second floor. Extend that upwards. Place one more block. Then place some upside down stairs from one end all the way down to the opposite. And at this point, you can just really trim it up any which way you want. Hey, if you want, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you could please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.